good morning happy sunday and welcome back to our channel guys we got another week of garden growth to show you so let's get into this week's video shall we guys also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we went to a local nursery and picked up some flowers and then we went to old time pottery got some pots and home depot for some flowers it's tuesday i stayed home today had a mental health day um i've just been in a funk have sinus issues and some other things going on but i figured to bring you guys along on all the flowers we got and where we want to put them. To be honest with you, I'm a little nervous on where to put them because we're chickens. We keep getting one or two escaping. So I don't know where in my backyard I'm gonna put these flowers. But let me turn the camera around and show you what we got. First, we'll start with the pot. Old Time Pottery had a deal for these three pots for like $17.99. Perfect. There's Love bringing in the water jug. Waggy. Look at you go. Waggy. We got this beautiful flower. They're Waggy. annuals at Home Depot. My favorite flowers are lilies, so I got this lily color and this lily we got these two these three plants from home depot then at the local nursery i got these snapdragons i can't wait for them to blossom then we got this beautiful flower i don't know all the names to everything even though they do have all right the name to this flower geranium i don't know I just saw this beautiful flower and it just made me want to get it. Looks like we're getting ready to have another bloom over here. Then we got some jasmine to go out next to the other jasmine we showed you. Got some orange marigolds and some yellow marigolds. I don't know how to say this name for, for this one, but that's the name of them. I don't know how to say it. I don't want to mispronounce it. These are all of them. Oh, wait. And I got mom an African violet. She's been wanting one for a while. And every time we were at Home Depot, they never had them. But when I went to the nursery yesterday, they were there. I'm still thinking I'm gonna put the lilies in this pot and then Put the snapdragons in this one with the other beautiful flowers. I got gloves, so I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna put mulch in here first to help with the drainage. solid roof. And now the lilies are all potted. Now I'm going to work on this pot. I put some mulch and some potting soil down at the bottom. And now I'm going to put the blue flowers, the snapdragon, all in here. this pot and put the marigolds and the little purple flowers that we have in here. Like, the marigolds aren't going to fit. Only these two beautiful flowers. We had this before. You 
though it's not gonna be herbs, it's gonna be marigolds, I can use this pot, repurposing. Hey babe. Those little yellow ones. That's a, that's a good idea. So we have a windmill and Amy thinks we should take one of the marigolds and put it up top. Does it have a hole for drainage? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Oh no. What? I don't. Can you break the root up a little bit and just kind of put it around it? Yeah, I guess we could. But this is what we're working at. He's thinking of doing the. I think it looks cute, actually. All right, well, I think with a little water, you can get that root, the roots to form in there a little, you know. Just for a second. It looks adorable, especially this little one standing up. Let's show you the windmill progress. Got my little purple plants right there. Marigolds on top. And for the time being, I am just going to leave these flowers right here until I figure out a perfect spot to put them. But they are gorgeous and they need the sunlight. The pollen is really coming in now here in Florida. So Danny's trying to water the yard a little to help combat it. So what are you working on right now, babe? We are gonna do some flowers in the flower box. My work a couple weeks ago gave us some flowers to plant. I'm going to plant some of those. And then let's just do some marigolds as well. And here, just putting flowers together. Now, we have the garden box out here. Hopefully we see some progress with some wildflowers soon. I moved the lilies on one side and the other basket or pot full of flowers on this side. We're just gonna keep those right there for right now. Look at this little ball of cuteness. How can you not love that? Alright guys, I discussed in this video that I took a mental health day um, because of a sinus infection and other things and I feel like I'm ready to talk about the other thing. The day before we filmed these beautiful flowers, we found out that Danny's paternal grandfather passed and it was a little hard on him. He didn't know anything was going on but at the same time his grandpa was older and how he found out was quite hard <laughs> you shouldn't find out 
a family member passing through Facebook. That was a kick in the gut. It is what it is. Towards me past that, moving forward. Other things that I have been dealing with is, is coming up on the two year anniversary of losing Owen. If you are new here, I had a stillbirth March 8th of 2022. I was six months along and I lost him to a infection, group B strep. I believe that's what they said it was. My doctor said it was a fluke. I mean, obviously pregnant women do get this infection, but they get it later on where they get the antibiotics and then have the baby immediately. <clears throat> For me, that didn't happen and so I had a lot of grief going on and with the sinus infection and the thought of oh I have an infection what is my body failing me now even though when we found out the cause my doctors are like it wasn't your fault your body was doing what it was supposed to be doing but as a mom's perspective, I did not protect my child in this matter. I didn't even know I had this infection. This past video, when I was going through mental health issues, I was, or mental issues, I was triggered by the trauma that I had two years ago. Like, is there something else really wrong with my body? I've had a lot of health anxiety since losing Owen. I'm on it. I took antibiotics. I'm good now. The infection is, or the sinus infection is finally gone. But these are the things that were happening. As you can see, I didn't film any of the garden growth that we had going on. Yeah. Hmm. I just wanted to come and discuss that it is okay to take mental health days if you are not doing good. To be honest with you, I spent the whole entire month of February not feeling good mentally. Um, I mainly only communicated to family members. I basically went to work and stayed home, I barely went to work. I took a lot of days off February for my mental health. My boss also allowed me to work from home a couple of days when it came to the anniversary of losing Owen. I'm really grateful for that. But um, I know now that I'm finally getting better I'm feeling happier, I'm gardening more, I'm seeing progress, I'm buying lots of flowers. So my mental health is getting better. It was really rough. I don't know if it transcribed on to camera. When I got this sinus infection early January, or no, late January, and it stuck with me to like the first week of March, it really muffed me up because normally I get done with the cold within a week or two and then I'm back to be back to getting better. This lingered and it, it took forever. Um, multiple doctor visits because, you know, like I said, I have health anxiety. My doctor did everything for me, wrote the things, prescribed the things, check the things everything because of the trigger that I have each day it's going to get better but I'm not going to say that I don't fall into those slumps February I noticed well this is the second year anniversary I noticed again I fell into a depression again in February um mainly because last month before the anniversary of losing I mean the first entire year grieving it was really hard to get over but then when you creep closer to the anniversary like oh crap it brings back a lot of the memories a lot of the trauma a lot of the, a lot of the grief that I was dealing with at that time I'm hoping that each year gets better for me I am 
trying to improve myself in other aspects like doing more things finding more things like i took up gardening mainly because i wanted to have more fresh produce and i went down a rabbit hole of the grocery store foods <laughs> that's a different story for a different day uh, off camera so I picked up gardening and I actually when I went into it it was mainly because I wanted to provide for my family like we need these vegetables that way I know where it's being made I can control that but each week getting more and more into growing the garden it's more of a therapy to me because you're you're like wow I kept all these plants alive since the first week of January and it's March 15th right now. Blowing my mind. This is the longest I've ever had a plant stay alive. Actually, I've never really been a plant person. I tried a garden back in 2020 when the world shut down and that lasted maybe six weeks, maybe less. And then I gave up and we were doing really good. I only had four plants. We saw growth, but then I just, stopped watering them I don't know why maybe because I got lazy and then my family did the back patio area where we have the pretty flowers back in 2022 and then the only reason those died was because of our chickens <laughs> because we put the chickens when they were grown when the chicken coop back there but that wasn't really my project that was Danny and the girls's project but this one I can say this garden I grew I mean with the help of my family but it's been mainly me making sure that they have water putting them in, uh, in the right containers like those type of things learning going out and buying the stuff <laughs> like it's really been therapeutic to help me uh, I think more now that I have them outside which you guys will see next week. This week's video is just about me planting the flowers. If you are a mom who has gone through a stillbirth, my heart is with you. And if you ever want to talk, to vent to someone that has been in a similar situation, definitely reach out to me on Instagram. I'll have my link in the description. It's a very hard process. I am very fortunate enough that I had an amazing support system when I was going through this. I have an amazing husband, an amazing mom, mother-in-law, family members, best friends. Like I had friends showing up at my door bringing me food <laughs> and ice cream. <laughs> I had a coworker, a group of coworkers chip in and buy me a bracelet with um i think it was baby feet with angel wings like i had a great community when i was going through that and still today like if it wasn't for them i don't know how good i would be right now i definitely say that my daughters really made me want to get out and do more things in life like Owen's life showed me how precious his life was. My girl's life are showing me how fast life is going and to do the things. So that's why you saw in 2023 how we did a lot of things like traveling and doing a lot of experiences that we never got to do before. I know I'm all over the place and I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. But again, I want to emphasize it is very important to take mental health days no matter what you are going through and let your body heal figure out what it is that is causing you to not want to get out of bed just do the bare minimum in life and then grasp it conquer it and move forward i'm not a therapist but this is what has been helping me once you're willing to do it things will things will happen okay <laughs> I'm going to close the video out. I'm going to see you guys next Sunday where we build garden boxes and fill them with my vegetables and the progress because I didn't do it this week and I'm sorry. Hope you guys forgive me. 
but next week should be fun. I got Jalen as my camera girl and some clips. We're a little funny in them. <laughs> All right, bye guys. But don't forget, like our video and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys Sunday, 9 a.m.